ahead. In this video, we're going to do problem number 13 on the free ATIT's math practice test that I have posted over at www.bcraftmath.com. Number 13, Michael shot 50 free throws as practice before the championship game since it is known that free throw percentage can really determine the outcome of a basketball game. He missed six free throws. What percentage of the attempted free throws did Michael make? Be careful here. He missed six, but we're trying to find the percentage of the free throws that he made. Well, if he shot 50 free throws, if he missed six, he made 44. Now we're trying to find a percentage. He made 44 out of 50. The shortcut here is to divide these two numbers. 44 divided by 50 is going to give you 0.88. Now I'm going to go over a more longer approach to this problem using proportions, but all we have to do here, 0.88 equals 88%. He made 88% of his free throws because he missed six, subtract that from 50 total shots, that leaves us with 44 shots that he made. So if he made 44 out of 50, dividing that we get 0.88 and converting that decimal to a percent, two ways to do that, move your decimal two places to the right, D2P, you've probably heard of me mention that in several of my videos now, or you can multiply this decimal by 100 to get 88%. Either way works. Now what's the other way to look at this? Well, again, you have to be careful when you read this. He missed six, but we're trying to find the percentage of the shots that he made. So we already said that he made 44 out of 50. This is equal to what percent over 100? Now we can set this up as a proportion as we have here. 44 out of 50 is what out of 100? And that what we are looking for is gonna give us a percentage because we're talking about it being out of 100. A percent is always something out of 100. If we cross multiply, 44 times 100 is going to be 4,400. Cross multiplying the other way, we have 50 times x, which is 50x. Dividing both sides by 50 to get x by itself, this is a very common way of solving proportions. And dividing that, we will get 88 is equal to x. The only thing to be careful with here is that we have 88 out of 100, that represents that 88%. We don't move the decimal in this case, and here's why. Back at the beginning, when I divided 44 divided by 50, we get 0.88, and then we did have to convert that to a percent. Now notice 88, our answer, 88% out of 100 is also going to give us that 0.88. Well, this should make sense. 44 divided by 50, we got 0 0.88. 88 divided by 100 gives us 0 0.88. But when we convert a decimal to a percent, we move it two places to the right, hence our answer of being 88%. Michael made 88% of his free throws. And there you have it, problem number 13 on the free ATIT's math practice test. And again, you can find this over at www.bcraftmath.com. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.